Warning, this episode contains scenes of sexual content, which may include images depicting sexual content or written descriptions that are describing sexual activities. Viewer discretion is advised. <laughs> High fives all around, guys. Has Shiro hugged Chakra and Sakura in the rain yet? No, that'll happen later. That happens after Blood Fort Andromeda. We gotta deal with Shinji's dumbass one last time. Well, a couple more times. Yeah, that happens after that. We should be getting close to that, though. Because now Saber's dead. Hmm? Thought I heard something. Alright. And Inhuman got yelled at. Yeah, I got yelled at at the end. That was fun. But now no one's here. I'm all alone. I have it all to myself. I can be as loud as I would please! Which is why I record when I'm alone. Anyways, Malto Zokin is standing there, his figure just like before. His body, which Archer sliced in two before my eyes, is whole once more. Foreshadowing? Oh yeah, that was totally foreshadowing. You'll see. You'll see. You will see. Oh, yes. Also, by the way, I totally foreshadowed this for anyone who didn't know who is uh, in the uh, Discord chat. I, I I foreshadowed this event with Saber getting killed because I kind of skipped ahead to see how it was. I specifically said, what was it? I did the quote from Batman and Robin that, uh, that Poison Ivy says. What is it? As I told Lady Freeze when I pulled her plug, this is a one-woman show. <laughs> nah, I'm back. Stop being loud, bitch. <laughs> uh, okay. Man, she's been out for a long time. She left the house at like 12.30. She's out at, I think, uh, niece's wedding or something. I don't really know her, so I didn't go. Also, I'd much rather be here with you guys. Again, because I don't really know her. I don't know a lot of my extended family, to be fair. And unlike most, I just pretend not to... I just... I don't even try to pretend I care. I just don't give a shit. <laughs> that may be a terrible thing to say, but I really don't. I see them, like, once. It's during Christmas. That's it. His body which are... Yeah, I read that already. The old Magus that could only wait for death is laughing as if that event was an illusion. I don't know how he did it, but if he really did recover from that state, it's more on a level of restoration than recovery. It's not just healing a wound... It takes great magic to restore a piece of one's body that has been lost. Or you take over another person's body and then have a monologue about it with your servant. Then, isn't this called immortality? No, we already had this conversation. Well, what do you intend to do with a single piece of wood, child? I stand there while pointing the straightened stick at Zokin. I can't charge at Zokin, nor can I retreat to follow Saber. If Zokin is immortal, a scrap of wood will never be able to match him. Will you try to kill me? Or will you go after your servant? Either way, nothing starts until you move. Something is squirming around the old Magus as he speaks. No, it's not just his surroundings. The darkness itself is moving, blocking the moonlight. Worms. I can tell, even though I can't see them. The darkness is probably swarms of worms. The walls of this temple are covered in something darker than darkness itself. The space is filled with the sound of creeping worms and the smell of rotten meat. Why do you hesitate? Your little alliance cut me in half only yesterday. Thanks for the time and for the new shit. See you next year for more shit people I hardly know. <laughs> shit. I don't even get anything from them. I mostly just show up, we have meal together, my mom talks and chats with them, and I go back home. Well, I, well, I mean, we go back home. Eventually. But yeah. I don't even get shit. Oh man, it sucked. Like, uh, 
Ever since I became like 18, it's like apparently no one thinks I need anything anymore. Most of my extended family doesn't even give me money anymore for like Christmas or shit like that. It's like, I could do it with cash, like money. Speaking of which, I like money. You should subscribe to me. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. <laughs> I like money. <laughs> Anyways, but yeah. Uh, did you not cooperate with Tosaka specifically to kill me? It's obvious that he is enjoying this. I can't fight off thousands of worms with just this stick. I'll be swallowed in those worms when Sokin gives the order. Or maybe. I might be able to escape if I sprint for the exit. They are just worms, even if it is a horde of them. It should take them more than a few seconds to kill a human being. You would be very surprised. Alright. I shall wait as long as you want. You can believe in Saber's return and wait here. Try to kill me with that weapon of yours, or shake off my worms and try to escape outside. You can choose how you want to die. Huh. It seems he has no intention of letting me go. Shocker! It's almost like he's evil or something. The worms increase in number as we stand there, glaring at one another. Then... Command spell, motherfucker! Should I use the command spell? I don't think Saber will lose to Assassin. But this situation is too ominous. We're fighting this ancient monster. It's too dangerous to have Saber by herself. Oh. Uh, mm. Here we go. Oh. Oops, did I skip over it? Oh. You've suppressed your poorly made murderous intent. <laughs> it seems you have a plan. Oh, there we go. He laughs, mocking me. He's looking down on me, not caring what I plan what plan I have. Fine. Laugh all you want. If the command spell can answer the master's wish, I am ready to use them all to bring Saber here. Saber! I concentrate in my left hand while glaring at Zokin. I have only one command to summon Saber to my side. Even if he realizes what's happening, it's too late. Heat lights up on my left hand, and the concentrated magical energy is released as I wish, and... Oh, dear. The command spell loses its color with a slight pain. What? I want to think it's because I failed. I want to think that I used it wrong because I don't know how to use it. <sighs> it seems it's over already. You surprised me. You shortened my life by ten years. Now I'll only live to be 2,538. <laughs> Unlimited choice works. He laughs. I hear wind in the distance like a death cry. I feel a pain on my left hand. My left hand is prickling. My command spell loses its heat as if it's bleeding. No. Way. I have a bad feeling. I have a bad feeling. I ha- I get the feeling Shiro has a bad feeling. The pain on my left hand. The sound of the wind has stopped. The old Magus is laughing with murderous intent. That is almost visible. That is the truth. You should be able to tell as a master that your servant has been eliminated from this world. My brain stops. My vision freezes. What is this guy saying? Why are you shocked? Saber has died. She has been defeated by Assassin. One she took lightly as a weaker opponent. Can you not tell that simple fact? What? Uh? What the hell is he talking about? My left hand hurts. My left hand certainly hurts. But my command spell is still there. It's fading. But it's still there. Then Saber should be coming here any second now. Man, Shiro has a bad case of denial. 
don't. Then let us end things here. There are still uses for the daughter of Ko Tosaka, but you are of no more use. You can die along with Saber on my holy land. Talk shit, damn it! I run. I charge at the enemy in front of me as if to shake off the ominous thought and the pain on my left hand. I charge at Zoken and swing my weapon with full force. I swing my weapon down onto his head. But something obstructs me, and my whole body is flung away. My back slams against the wall. I must have been hit in the stomach as I can't breathe. My back is numb as if scorched with fire. I hear worms crawling about my ear. The worms by the wall scatter to avoid being crushed by my landing. Even the squirming sounds have a mocking tone. You've made it, assassin. Then I shall lead the kid to you as well. This is an easy task compared to Saber, so enjoy it all you want. Zokin disappears, and in his place... A white skull mask is smiling in the darkness. That must be the servant assassin. An assassin with a black outfit and a white mask appropriate for Mauto Zokin. I'm going to die. Pain on my left hand. My numb mind. My heart accepts the death coming in the next moment and... Uh, pounds loudly. And I accept the weapon thrown at my forehead, throat, heart, and stomach. Eh. A flash of silver light repels the weapons. The four daggers that tried to take my life are blocked with a sword. There's only one person who would do such a thing. My left hand still hurts. The command spell is still there. Then... <laughs> Fool. Did he not kill Saber? I raise my head. The one who has come to protect me from the white mass servant is... Shiro, come with me if you want to live. Dun 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 dun. Wait, why did I? No, I meant dun dun dun. There we go. <laughs> Shiro, come inside me if you want to live. <laughs> you mean come with you, right? I know what I said. All right. What? <laughs> A servant dressed in black, just like assassin. Right. Right, duh. Coming, Roida. Except she's not really masked, but, you know, we'll work around it. There's no doubt about it. This is Shinji's servant, Ryder. Why is she here and why did she save me? Where did she come from? Where did she go? Where did she come from, Ryder? Doesn't work as well, damn it. <laughs> Are you going to oppose me? I don't care, assassin. Kill her too if she gets in our way. The skull answers Zokin's screamed command. The long hair flutters. Ryder silently turns to assassin and... She confronts the daggers that are fired like rain. Oh man, it's almost an upskirt shot. He do have triple C Sakura hair. Yeah, that's why triple C Chakra is often referred to, referred to as... Sakura Rider. Because her tits got increased and her hair got fucking long as hell. Ugh. <clears throat> Anyways. Uh, they move too quickly for mere human eyes to follow. Good thing she's more than human. The masked figure leaps out, leaps about the temple. He jumps from the wall to the ceiling, then from the ceiling to the floor, hurling daggers from each position. Coming from all directions, the daggers can neither be blocked nor avoided. Didn't he say he was out of daggers? The relentless onslaught, onslaught carpets the floor in knives within seconds. Ryder can't manage this. I know how strong she is from the battle with Saber. Assassin's attack is something even Saber would have trouble blocking. How? She blocked it, uh, already possessed by the Black Sith Narmasa. Okay, is that how they're playing it? Alright. I didn't know if he was possessed or not. I didn't hear anyone say anything about it. Mm. 
but hooray, now we have all three of the main characters of Fate Stay Night possessed by gods because hooray for self-inserted fan fiction! Anyways. Uh, yeah. It's natural for Ryder, who was defeated by Saber in one blow, not to be able to cope with the attack. You're just saying that because she's a woman, aren't you, Shiro? Fucking misogynistic tendencies coming back, aren't they? The White Skull mercilessly fires his weapons. It looks like an attack containing irritation. What? I realize the abnormality after the superiority is made clear. They have not hit her. Not a single one of the daggers has struck its target. You. A voice comes from overhead. Apparently out of knives, Assassin looks down at his enemy with undisguised loathing. There. Exists one giant serpent. I can't believe it. So many. Ryder evaded the countless daggers with pure speed. It's different from when she saved me. Well, we still need Ilya to be possessed by God. Ilya's in the game as a magic girl. You know, Kukulatan doesn't suck, right? Just, just for a heads up. Everyone likes to crack shit about Ku being lame, but it's only because... Kodamene didn't use him as a servant. He literally told everyone, hold back, do not kill your opponent, and find out about them. Just saying. I know it's a joke at this point to make fun of him, but... I'm just saying, y'all people need a Stay Night visual novel. All I'm saying. <laughs> I mean, how else will you learn that Shiro is constantly haunted every day by the, uh, by the screams of the people who died in the fire that he couldn't save? And he just kept on walking, and he continuously keeps hearing their voices every day of his life. That's a real thing, by the way. I had to go through reading that. Uh, let's see, when she saved me. Ryder avoided all the daggers while crawling on the ground as if, st uh, saying there was no need to repel them. What are you playing around for, Assassin? You don't need to go easy just because she is my grand... Or, that's Zoken. Alright. <clears throat> what are you playing around for, Assassin? You don't need to go easy because she is my grandson's servant. Finish her! I can't do that. She is different from before. Assassin stares at Ryder while clinging to the ceiling. Ryder is different from before. Her magical energy and co coercion is on a whole new level. Even if she's still not as strong as Saber, she certainly is stronger than Assassin. Why? No, wait, who's talking? I don't know. Why? Ryder doesn't answer, but her body sinks even lower. The instant I realize her movements is a gesture to aim at her prey... Ryder jumps up to the ce jumps up to the ceiling. An assassin jumps down to the floor. Their blades clashing in midair. Ow! Just ow! <laughs> they land facing away from each other. Ryder is unwounded. In contrast, Ryder's dagger is piercing assassin's shoulder. I can't pull it out. <laughs> that That's what he said. Assassin tries to pull out the dagger in his shoulder. Then, with a clinking of chain links. What? Ryder hurls Assassin through the air. Man, can't wait till this goes live just to put everyone to shame who says Medusa sucks. <laughs> Like I tell everyone, anyone who says Medusa sucked has clearly never played Heaven's Feel. The Skull Mask lets out a scream of anguish. Not saying a word, Ryder continues to mercilessly swing Assassin about the room. It's just like a flail. 
Unable to do anything, Assassin is smashed against every surface in the room, his limbs bending in all directions. Whoa! I duck to avoid Assassin coming around with a whirlwind. This isn't on a level of being strong. After flailing Assassin to her content, she uses the... Sir, Fugal Force and let's go. It's a hammer throw. Assassin, his bones broken, is thrown at a wall head first. He flies away. Assassin is blasting off again. Twinkle. Like a piece of lifeless trash, the masked servant bounces through the compound, out the gate and down the stairs, leaving a trail of blood behind him. Oh. Wow. Is she boosted somehow? Yes. Technically. But not in the way you're thinking. How brutal. I'm sure a servant- Ow, I bit my tongue again. Ha uh ha. -huh. I'm sure servants aren't so weak as to die from that, but he should be able to Should be unable to continue fighting at the very least. Fool. Zokin's presence disappears. The old Magus must think he is at a disadvantage since he flees after snarling a curse at Ryder. The worms that were squirming in the corner disappear following their master. Yay, weapon screen updated. <laughs> no fuck for Medusa? No. Shiro just popped a boner. <laughs> Well, she did just wa he did just watch a, I would say, fairly attractive woman spin assassin around the room like a record baby, round, right, round, round, round. I'm brought back to my senses by the pain from my stomach where assassin hit me. Only Ryder and I are in the temple now. I take a deep breath and try to calm down. Then, I realize that the only pain I feel is in my stomach and back. Sick. Instinctively, I know what that means. I endure the dizziness as I head out to the hallway. Please wait. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. <laughs> it's dangerous to go alone. Take this. Why, well, thanks, old man. That's really kind On. Let's see, what is it? I can always help. Uh, count on your help and friendly advice. Something, something. I've never seen a sword. Quite the shape and size. Oh god, this is not a sword. It's your dick in disguise. What? You. There's no... En enmity coming from Ryder. It seems she actually came to help me. What? Why? I don't care why she saved me. More importantly... Shinji no your Shinji son. servant. Why did you save me? I don't care why she saved me. Why did you save me? <laughs> I want to get there quickly. So why am I taking my time? My orders are to not let you die. I only obeyed my master. My trunk is harder than wood. I see. That's fine. I don't believe her, but it's good that I got an answer. More importantly, I have to hurry and go there. I understand right away that this is the place. The corridor is dead silent. The whole place is destroyed as if a storm passed by. In it is a small red stain on the only part of the ground that hasn't been destroyed. I can't tell whose blood this is, but my legs lose strength the instant I see it, and I crumble to my knees. Ironically, I think the blood is actually assassins. I reach out and touch it. The blood is dry and it doesn't stick to my fingers. The only thing that the stain tells me is that she disappeared here. My role is to protect you, Shiro. How many times did I hear that line? Those words were a comfort and a source of worry. She only cared about me. And she never said anything about protecting herself. Yeah, but she doesn't matter. She already got her... She already got her role. In fact, it's the first or first she already got her route. In fact, it's the first one you have to play. 
I scratch at the mark. Saber fought here and fell here. She was basically uh, Sakura with a mini tube top on. Uh, uh, kind of. Uh, uh, uh. I actually don't know their sizes. I'm sure I'll find out if I ever have to play Hollow Atraxia. <laughs> That's what happens in battle. I knew before I made a contract with her that this would be a battle to the death. I accepted the fact and took her hand, and she merely answered me. The girl who protected me, even though she was smaller than me. When I told her I wanted to put priority on the black shadow of the Holy Grail, she simply nodded, ignoring the premonitions of her end. And this is the result. I lost her. Lost my rights as a master. And I'm back to being just an amateur. To be fair, you never stopped being an amateur. I am now alone, with no means of fighting. I have to carry through with what I have to do. And then I have to go. I slowly rub the bloodstain one last time. So, why is he rubbing your bloodstain? I have no idea. I think he might think it's Saber. So he doesn't know that it's yours. Yeah, no. Don't feel like telling him either. That's fair. Let's see how long he stares at it. <laughs> That's it. I don't bow or thank her and let my fingers go. Pain assails my left hand and it disappears. The moment I acknowledge her death and say goodbye, the command spell on my left hand disappears without a trace. One does not lose the command spell just because one has lost his servant. It only disappears when the Magus loses his right to be a master. I see. So I... I don't know what happened here tonight. There is only one certainty. I lost Saber. And lost my rights as a master. Ah, don't worry, you'll see her again later. I leave the Ryudo Temple. My stomach and back seem to be wounded badly. But I'm not worried about the pain right now. I shall see you home. It is dangerous to walk alone at night, even with the enemy gone. What? I stop unintentionally. All of Ryder's words tonight are unexpected. I don't get it. Is that also an order from your master? No. I have received no such command. This is my personal choice. It is a whim of mine. Nothing more. New videos from Inhuman? I don't do reaction videos. I hate reaction videos so much. From 21 golden apples to 17 golden apples. That's enough for now. <laughs> if I was going to do something like that... I would watch the video off screen and then do like a, a vlog series of every episode to give my thoughts and opinions on it, which I may still do. Be back. Just a moment. It sounds like they have returned. Uh, taking everything you know about Stay Night, Hello Attraxy, Extra Triple C, Extella Grand Order, kind of a phantasm. Who would you choose to be your wife? Medusa, Medea, Tamanome, Kiyohime, or I don't know who Mama Raiko is. Uh, probably Medusa. She seems the most tame out of all of them. Medea scares me. Tama no Mei, no fucking way. Kiyohime is a stalker, and I don't know who the last one is. Let's see. This is my personal choice. It is a whim of mine, nothing more. I see. I'll believe you in that case, but you don't have to walk me home. We're enemies, so I can't get further in debt to you. Enemies. So you still, so you still have the will to fight us, even though you are not a Magus and have lost your servant. I don't answer her. First of all, I never said I'm out of this war. Okay, I understand. Then please be careful on your way home. Her long hair flutters. Ryder heads to the mountain gate ahead of me.
Man, I won't even say that. I'll just I'll just be completely disgusted by it. I've said it before. I don't like lollies. They look like little kids to me. And that just seems like pedophile bait. I mean, I know they're supposed to be adults and everything. And it still doesn't stop them from looking like it. And I won't hate anyone who watches it or enjoys it or enjoys that. But that's just how I see it. I won't bash someone for what they enjoy. But as a personal something, as something personal for me, no. That's why I've stated, like, anything to do with, like, the Prism Ilya or anything like that will be the only thing I never touch of the Fate series. I'm not interested. Is it because she looks so defenseless? Thank you. Thanks. I mutter something I forgot to tell her earlier. Yeah. What? She turns around looking surprised. Ugh. I'm embarrassed to see a reaction like that, but I have to properly thank her. What did you just say? And she's asking me seriously, too. It's awkward to stare at her straight on, so I avert my gaze. I, I said thank you. I would have died if you hadn't saved me. As you can see, I can't give anything in return right now. So I have to at least thank you. Did I take off the back? Okay, I did. Please do not mind. I only obeyed my orders. I will kill you immediately if my master's order changes. With those cold, emotionless words, Ryder disappears through the mountain gate. And I thought so. That's why I told her I wouldn't take any favors. I start walking after Ryder's, after Ryder disappears. I can think later as to why Ryder saved me. It takes an hour to get home. I have to shake off the lingering memory of her in that short time. <laughs> Saber's gone back home. Home. I return to my house. It's already past one o'clock. I put my hand over my mouth as I cough up blood. My stomach still hurts from Assassin's attack and my back still burns from hitting the wall. I don't know how badly wounded my stomach is, but I bet my back is just scratched. The wounds that healed so quickly before aren't healing at all. I'm always told I'm always told everyone is like, oh, they're all like fucking 18 or whatever. Ilya's supposed to be like that. I'm like, yeah, I don't see it. Yeah, that makes it. If they're supposed to be little children, yeah, that makes it even worse. I'm sure they have some legal bullshit that says otherwise, but whatever. Yeah, no, I, I don't, I don't do that. Moral reasons and everything else. Well, I finished all the fate. There is nothing left now I can get to. <laughs> no, it'll never happen. Fate never ends. And like I said, I I wouldn't touch Prismilia. <laughs> You'd have to pay me a lot of money to sit through it. And even then, if I sit through it, I'm gonna be forced to sit through it, and I'm definitely not gonna have a fun experience. I mean, to start things off, all the lolly stuff aside, I'm not a big magical girl type of thing like I don't like the magical girl genre but yeah no I don't oh good great oh that makes it even better yeah no I <laughs> uh, no no joking at all Hard no. Like I said, I will be the I will claim to be the man who has touched anything fate, except that that will forever be the outcast, the black sheep I keep away at gunpoint. I see. I'm back to my old self again. When I had my contract with Saber, wounds healed themselves. But that's lost. Even a slight wound could prove fatal now. Oh, my ear hurts. Ugh. A 
senpai? Then, when I go into the front hallway, I find Sakura waiting for me. Uh, Sakura, no, what are you doing up so late? Did I wake you up? They're not underage in Japan. I don't care. Uh, I mean, even the fact that they look like children, it's just... No. Like I said, it... Even if they were of age, it's still just how they look to me. They look like children. That doesn't... That doesn't arouse me in any way. That actually turns me off. A lot. That's that's why I don't get into lollies. Because they look like children and all I can think of is my dad. And I never ever want to think of that. No, I just couldn't sleep. I noticed your shoes weren't here, so I was wondering where you went. No, oh, I was just taking a walk. Come to think of it, the light was on when I came home. Then was Sakura waiting here the whole time? Sakura, were you waiting at the door this time? all this time? Huh? N no, that's not true. I, I got up to go to the bathroom. I just happened to be by the door when you came. Good cover. What about the Sakura that's possessed by Lancelot? I don't fucking know. She was waiting here. It's been over three hours since Saber and I left. Maybe Sakura noticed right away and was waiting here all this time. Uh, anyway, do you want some tea? It's a bit late, but you'll get your spirit back if you drink warm tea and relax. A normal girl, right? Not a psychopath? I mean, technically, that would imply that she would become a bigger psychopath. Ugh. Oh <sighs> god, I feel like I got way too real during fart of the, during during fart of this stream. Well, I'm glad to see the speech impediment hasn't gone away. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna eat to calm my nerves. Mm. I love you, pizza. You'll never abandon me until you're all gone. <laughs> Anyways. I'm surprised. Sakura's really pushy right now. I must really look terrible if she's forcing herself to act this way. Uh, yeah, please. I'm home. Sakura. I'm sorry I went out without telling you. I take off my shoes and go into the hallway. I hold my aching stomach and head to the living room. With me in front of her... Yes. Welcome home, senpai. Sakura looks relieved. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Ouch! I wince with pain, but lie on the cushion and bear it. The disinfectant keeps stinging my back. The sizzling sound makes it feel like I'm getting my back scorched. That hurts, Sakura. I think that's enough disinfectant. Just wipe the wound and put gauze on it. <laughs> no, we have to disinfect it properly because your back is all red. And it's natural that it hurts. You came home with such a big wound, so please bear it. <laughs> Ouch. Is it because of the archery club or Fujini that she's merciless towards injury injured people? Does it hurt anywhere else, senpai? I'm afraid to tell you. <laughs> No, I only hurt my stomach and back. Which version of the VN is this? Um, this is a modified version of the original. The original Fate Stay Night did not have voice acting. Voice acting would only be added upon with uh, Rialta Nua. But, Rialta Nua also took out the sex scenes, or altered them, to, you know, remove any sexual content. Though I still think the penis worms look penis wormsy. Um... But, uh, so this has all the voice acting from that, but keeps the sex scenes in. That's why the sex scenes are unvoiced when we get to them. 
So, yeah. Also, Rialto Nua allows you to pick whatever route you wanted to start. Having it basically as almost three separate games. The original Fates Night, you have to unlock them individually. So, to play Unlimited Blade Works, you must finish the Fate route. To uh, play Heavensfield, you must finish Unlimited Blade Works. So on and so forth. Remember that thing I was going to do to Ren? Absolutely. You know, it's always funny to me that people will say like, Oh man, Ilya's so adorable and so cute. Oh yeah, she's so fucking cute. That's why she mercilessly just offs, offs uh, Shenji off screen. And then says, Oh, Shiro didn't want to like stay with me forever. I'm going to have Berserker rape Ren and Saber and then kill them. Where did I get this version? The internet. I don't remember specifically for where I got it. I think I may have gotten it from uh, edogedownload.com. That's where I go for a lot of visual novels uh, that I can't purchase. Except for a few. Or any like visual novel that has like some kind of sex in it or whatnot. You'll find like a bunch of other new Kage on there, but... I really don't care about those. I think you can also find Rialta New on there, but... I mean, really, unless you just don't absolutely like the sex scenes, which, to be fair, they are easily the worst part of the game, um, you can get Rialta Nua. But yeah. Um, I see. Then that's all that's left is to put some gauze on and tape it up. Mm, excuse me. Sakura handles the first aid kit with practiced ease. She looks so intent on it, on it that I don't want to interrupt. Oh, Jesus Christ. Mm. Uh, have you ever seen the Rialto Nua openings? I have not. Not really that interested. Honestly. <laughs> I mean, like, some flashy cutscenes are all cool. But, I mean, they last for, like, two minutes. But, Yeah. I think I, I, I actually think I googled one. I think I, I think I saw one of them. That was about it. And that's all I remember. Hmm. Oh man, speaking of which, I recorded the, um, I recorded the second one for the Fate Route, the last one in that. It snuck up on me, and I don't think I did as good in it, because literally I was just like, I hadn't eaten and I was just like, I'm going to do like two or three recordings. It'll be fine. And so I get to it. It's like, oh, God, the sex scene is right now. So it's like I was at about 40 or so minutes when I started recording. By the time I was done, by the time I was done with the sex scene, it was like an hour and 40 plus. And I was like, oh, my God, like my hand was absolutely shaking. Uh, and I was just like, OK, guys, we've got to end this right now. I've got to go get food. I'm dying. Like, I finished it, and I was just like, oh, thank God. And then I, I ended everything. I, like, walked on the shakiest knees I have ever fucking ever had out to get, like, water or whatnot. And just inhaled my pizza I had sitting behind me. And you know, I was like, oh, it's just, it's gonna be fine. I'm just gonna do, like, a couple recordings. Then I can eat. And then it's like, oh, hey, here's sex. That was fun. Which, by the way, that sex scene was long. God. Saber had to go down on me. I had to go down on Saber, and then we had to do the hanky panky. By the way, <laughs> watching those two be uh, awkward be awkward is like the best thing ever. Before the sex starts, then the, it gets weird. But it was easier to edit. And that's the only good thing I can say about it. Well, let's explain why this is happening. It's because I threw up the tea I drank because it stung my stomach. I didn't want Sakura to find out, but that gave it away. I had no choice but to tell her how badly I was hurt, and now she's treating me. Well, she wasn't that much of a devil to begin with. <laughs> you hurt your stomach? When I showed her my stomach, she was blushing so badly that she couldn't treat me. Are you okay with this, Sakura? I can treat myself so you don't have to push yourself. Besides, my back is even worse. It, it's alright. I'll do it. Please let me do it. I want to keep looking at you. 
It'd be so fun to that. It's a vid called Surprise by Sex. Nah, it's... I don't know what I'm going to call it. I think I'll just call it a confession or something like that. Because that's what it is. Shiro basically just comes out and it's like, I love you, Saber. Do you love me? I can't give you that answer. I want to do it with you. By the way, he literally says that. I want to... I, I want to do it. Which they do it because uh, she expended Excalibur fighting Gilgamesh. Which, by the way, Gilgamesh completely fucking owned her Excalibur with EA, so... Uh, fuck you, Type Moon. Excalibur is not the greatest fucking weapon in the world. Fuck you. <sighs> I'm not bitter. <laughs> she was so flustered that I half expected her to faint when she saw the wound on my back. S senpai please take off your shirt. Wait, that was Ren. Please take off your shirt. I didn't want to stop Sakura since I couldn't treat my own back. I did as I was told and let her treat me. <laughs> Still, it was so bad that she couldn't do anything for a while. She stared at it for a few minutes and started treating me. After a gulp. That was 20 minutes ago. It's past 2 o'clock now. Sakura's careful treatment is about to end. Okay. It's all done now. Here's a new shirt, so please put this on. Slowly put it on. Huh? It's done already. Thanks, Sakura. You're welcome. Thanks for your patience. I put on the new shirt and take a deep breath. There's nothing to be done about my stomach, but my back feels much better. I'll sleep face down tonight, and hopefully it'll be better tomorrow. Well, let's get some sleep. I'm sorry I kept you up late, Sakura. Uh, no, that's fine, but... Sakura hangs her head. Seems like she wants to say something, but can't. Sakura, did something happen while I was gone? No, um, senpai? Did Saber-san go home? Toria lost against EA, my wife who fuck you type moon. What type of moon are you? Yeah, <laughs> I love you, save her. Sorry, Shiro. I can't. Why? I'm married. Oh. <laughs> uh, nah, he, he tries to pull it. It's like, I need you. You're the only thing I need. Give up on your dream. I can't do that. Fine, we're gonna fuck. Okay. <laughs> I mean, she basically agrees and says, like, oh, yeah, I basically have feelings for you, too. But she doesn't outright come and say it. But he's trying, he's basically trying to use it as an excuse to try and get her to n not change her past or whatever. Because, yeah. But, yeah, no, Artoria got her ass kicked by EA. EA fucked her up. The only reason they stopped EA is because Shiro and Saber managed to, uh form Avalon to stop it and reverse it back to Gilgamesh. It actually had a pretty cool sprite where it's like, he's got a cut in his side, a huge gash in his shoulder armor that's actually melted and on fire. It's really sweet. Um, I think my, I think my favorite part about that was literally he try he makes a replica of Excalibur to try and fight Gilgamesh. Gilgamesh just summons out the prototype Excalibur, basically. And literally the way it's described is Shiro was split from his top left shoulder all the way down to his waist. He even states that if he moves incorrectly, his innards are just going to spill out of his body. And yet the dumb motherfucker still tried to get up and fight. <laughs> And then, of course, afterwards, he was perfectly fine. I get dizzy for a second. Did Saber's son go home? When I hear the words from someone else, the reality of it finally sinks in. Yeah. I know it was sudden, but she went home. She's not coming back. She's dead. I endure my dizziness and answer calmly. It's not like it's a stupid question. Of course she would think something happened if Saber, who was here four hours ago, is gone. But I have to put on a strong face and act like nothing's wrong. Saber was talking about you before she went away. She said you should take it easy because you're the type that thinks too hard. At 
Actually, to be fair, no, she isn't. I had a good look at her junk. She has a vagina, nothing else. Just saying. <laughs> she only kind of had a penis at one point. She no longer has a penis. So, yeah. She has. She just has a vagina. I can, I can claim that from personal knowledge. I kind of wish I didn't, but... <laughs> Also, Shiro knows from personal knowledge. Da 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 da. Anyways. So this ka. Saber san to wa naka no ri shita gakari datta no ni. I see. I wish I could have told her goodbye since we just made up. I can't even nod to that. Saber disappeared before I could even say goodbye. The fact makes my heart feel so heavy that I want to vomit. A collaborator for only six days. My partner for only six days. How can I repay her? The one who was my sword for only six days. She may have been your sword, but she was not the bone of your sword. <laughs> I'll use EA. Oh god, no. No, oh god. The microtransactions. <laughs> Buy all of Battlefront! <sighs> well, what can I say? <laughs> Wait, do we really have Stinger missiles? No, I just like to crush your hopes and dreams. Thanks for calling me Blam, by the way. Let's see. But I'm glad, ever since she came, you've been getting injured all the time. Now everything's back to normal. What? Isn't that right? I won't ask you what you were doing, but you were going out to help Saber-san, right? Now that she's gone, you're not going to be exposed to danger anymore. It's actually kind of funny. You're wrong. I'm going to keep going out at night, even though Saber's gone. Um, not that I was helping Saber. Saber was helping me. I stand up. My tension is gone now that the treatment is over. I'm getting really sleepy. Senpai? Good night, Sakura. And while we're on the topic, I'll be leaving my house a lot more often starting tomorrow. But you can keep using this place like you've been. I'll come home late, like tonight. But I don't want you to worry and go to sleep. Please don't wait by the door for me like you did tonight. Okay. Good night, senpai. I don't call you bland. I call you the best VA I know. <laughs> I'm not Liam O'Brien! Although, to be fair, Liam O'Brien couldn't even save Sonic Forces. Apparently I discovered that. Liam O'Brien voiced uh, the main bad guy in Sonic, Vo Sonic Forces. But apparently even he couldn't save that character. <laughs> He's my bro. Uh, I, I really I really want one day just to meet Liam O'Brien. He's like probably third or second favorite voice actor. One of those two. Swip it flitch it flip flops constantly depending on either him or Matt Mercer. And then number one is always Crispin Freeman. He'll forever be my favorite. I rest my body. I didn't feel it until now, but I'm dead tired. Drowsiness overtakes me the moment I lay down. But before I do so, I glare into the darkness to prepare myself. What Saber lost against, and what I should be fighting. I have to accept them here and now. It hurts just to think about it. My body is trembling and my mind is about to lose against anger or fear. What I have to fight against is it's that shadow. That thing that attacks people without discrimination. The black shadow that even Saber and Archer fear. I know with certainty, even though I didn't see it, that is what defeated Saber. Assassin cannot defeat Saber. So if there is something at the temple that can defeat her, it's that shadow. I have to beat the thing that beat Saber. On top of that, I'll have to deal with Mato Zokin and Assassin. 
Zokin said there's no more use for me now that I'm no longer a master. But so long as I stay in the Holy Grail War and search for the Shadow, Zokin will continue to haunt me. Boo, motherfucker. A shiver runs through my body. Saber's not with me anymore. I have no miracle that heals my wounds, and the only weapon I have is magic as a half-assed magus. I know this is a reckless, suicidal choice, but I decided to fight. I said I'll become a superhero. I lost Saber because of that. I've walked in Kiritsugu's footsteps ever since the fire because of that. My only option is to stop the war so such a disaster will not occur again. <laughs> Always can beat on you as the best Emiya and Gara voices. <laughs> Oh, that's right, he does voice Gara. I forgot all about that. I won't let you feel what it means to be loved. Sand coffin. Sand burial. I don't think that one's nearly as good as the MEO one, though. But that's also because I don't think I've tried to be Gara in years. Oof. Emmy, I at least have constant practice thanks to the fate games, but Gara, ooh, shit, I haven't done that in a long time. Now, please, let me feel alive. <coughs> also, I can only do crazy. I can't do normal Gara. <laughs> it's weird. <laughs> Sand opi. Sand titties. So this will be the only night that I tremble in fear. When my wound heals and morning comes... I have to act strong so the girl who disappeared can be proud of me. Is this it? Are we here yet? Yes, 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 yes! <laughs> so, who's ready for more? Shall we say, risque parts? <laughs> oh, yes. Rie Kugmia, the Sundare Queen. Nobu is a Sundare confirmed. I don't know who that is. Sorry. <laughs> Gomen. The girl returns to her room. She walks with heavy st <laughs> inhuman turn into <laughs> Mephistopheles. <laughs> she walks with heavy steps to her bed and sits on it. Senpai, Senpai he's so badly injured and still. She doesn't know what happened. The boy looked as lifeless as a starving man, and his body was covered with wounds. The golden-haired girl, who first appeared here several days ago, has not returned. From this she can tell something has happened that can never be undone. The boy is hiding something, and the golden-haired girl will not return as a result. But such things don't matter. For her, such things are trivial. She doesn't know what happened, but it's fine as long as the boy is safe. For her, having Emiya Shiro come home is an unparalleled joy. They'd go on a, a beach and make a naked woman's sculpture and put beside it, Gara was here. <laughs> Gara would be the champion, like, sandcastle builder. <laughs> Wait, is it cold today? She shivers and brings her hand up to her forehead. It's hot. Her body is burning up and he ha and she has to fight to remain conscious. She's voiced like most Cinderas you would see in anime. Oh, that would explain why I don't know her. Never watched a lot of anime with Cinderas in it. Haven't watched a lot of anime that I can think of. And a lot of the ones I have have been dubbed. Waits for the firing squad to approach him. <laughs> it must be a light cold. She rarely gets sick, 
but after waiting in the hallway for nearly three hours, it's hardly a surprise. With sluggish movements, she reaches over and turns off the light. She lets herself fall into the bed, lacking even the energy to change clothes. It's fine. This is nothing compared to what Senpai is going through. The girl recalls what she saw a few minutes ago. The wounds on his back, almost as if the flesh had been grated. The blackening bruise on his stomach. His eyes still strong and clear in spite of his condition. Do you hear that? The sound of no voice acting. <laughs> <laughs> I like being evil. <laughs> Her temperature rises as she remembers. The girl pretends not to notice that it stems from the hatred she feels. Who could do such a thing? Yes. She doesn't know who did it, but she can't forgive this person. It's not temporary dislike or annoyance. He has been wounded all this time, but he has stayed beautiful. She cannot forgive anyone that hurts someone important to her. But Senpai's back was amazing. She reaches out her hand in a daze. It's been a while since she last saw his naked skin so close. When they first met, he was small as a boy and was about as tall as her. But in the two years since then, he has grown into a man. Something stirs beneath the sheets. Trapped between her body and the bed, her hand slowly creeps down between her legs. It's different from when he collapsed from a cold. Back then it was a cold and nothing more. Tonight it was the body of a wounded man. Thinking about it causes her to space out. He must train without a day's rest. His body is sturdily built without even an ounce of useless muscle. His graceful build is like that of an antelope. It has the beauty of having inner strength, one that allows it to jump up. Pre precipious? Pre fuck words. That is not apparent. Yeah, his chest was broad. He was a real man. Her outstretched fingers run across the chest that is not here. She unconsciously rubs her fingers across his body. They run from his chest down to his stomach. Crawling across the bedsheets, her fingers travel below her belly button and... Her face turns bright red. <laughs> s s stupid me! <laughs> I'm sorry, senpai! Is this scene also removed from Rialto Nui? Yes. Uh, it's altered where she's not masturbating. She is thinking about Shiro, but she's not masturbating while doing it. She quickly pulls her hand back. She even turns her ears red and curls up on the bed. It shouldn't be this embarrassing, but her memory is too vivid. The feeling of his skin beneath her fingertips only made her imagine more concrete imagination. Whatever. Huh? But... Is that what caused her to heat up? Her heart starts to beat faster. It's too late to stop. Her body is hot. Her mind is in a daze, and she can only think of one thing. Her limbs are heavy, and it feels as if she has turned into a puppet. Her breaths are unbelievably hot. Is it because the heat is escaping from her body? 
The heat invades her brain and melts her memory, intelligence, reason, and morals, making her think of only one thing. The heat takes over her body, and the limbs are out of her control. But dirty desire creeps up from within her. She doesn't stop. She moves her fingers, which are just tracing Shiro's body down between her legs. By the way, I'm going to be skipping through like half this dialogue, because it's either A, her panting, B, her saying senpai, or a mixture of the two. So, fill in the blank with one of those. Is there any hope of an English version of Triple C? Yeah. Iwakara is currently working on a translation for it. They're just working slowly because it's not their main project. And for the longest time, they only had one translator. They now have two. You can follow them at cj, cj iwakara at twitter.com. They handle a lot of game translations, actually. Her fingers start to move wildly as if to match her breathing. The wet sound slowly gets louder into something indecent. No, I shouldn't be doing this. The feeling of guilt excites her even more. His wounded body, thinking about the blood on his back makes her dizzy. The girl who won't be coming back, the realization that once again, he is all hers. Many lies. The dark emotions, unthinkable for her usual self, draw her down into a darker passion. But those are trivial matters. What she's truly glad about is that the boy has come back to her. Senpai's fingers, more, no having him back is enough. But it's not enough. Tonight made that clear. He cares for her, but he tries to protect her by keeping her away. No, Senpai. I, I want to be... Uh, I want you to be next to me. She knows it's a greedy wish. Her passion gets worse because it's a wish she should never speak of. A wish that will never come true. I'm sorry, Senpai. I'm sorry. A heated masturbation. The repeated repentance cools off the girl's temporary madness. My dad and stepmom would go away here, like, right next to me right now. <laughs> well, look on the bright side. I don't have to censor this one. <laughs> Nothing gets shown on screen. Just don't let them read the words or hear me. <laughs> oh, hey, it's over. <laughs> She stares at the ceiling absent-mindedly, the overwhelming self-hatred after the climax is familiar to herself, to her. But a heavier agony assails her tonight, the wounded body. He said he intends to continue fighting, even after receiving such wounds. Boy, it'd be awkward if Shira were up doing this. Well, he's in the opposite side of the house, so he wouldn't know. What should I do? Senpai's going to get hurt even more like this. She thinks as her body sweats. It's a worry without an answer. A problem the girl cannot solve. She cannot come up with a way to stop him, even if she thinks all night. Well, that's because all she was doing was masturbating, and it lasted for four minutes and not an hour. <laughs> but. I see. I just have to keep him from going outside. I have to break his ankle misery style. <laughs> Runt into Shiro's room screaming, you killed my misery. He has no idea what's going on. Suddenly he has a broken leg. <laughs> Sakura would be the best Sundari ever. <laughs> she reaches a simple answer with a calm voice. Delighted by her sudden insight, she smiles and... Right. You won't get in any more danger if you're hurt so badly that you can't walk. Holy shit! I didn't think she was serious! <laughs> She's gonna break his fucking ankles. <laughs> oh, God damn it! Holy shit! Whispers to herself with a sigh of relief. 
<laughs> interlude out. Oh, never mind. We're back to another interlude. It's a room that smells of stone. The light is not artificial, but natural. <laughs> we'll break his legs. I've lasted a whole hour. I didn't say that. The lamp's flame shines on the man's back and illuminates the parchment in his hands. Is that a report? Who's talking? Is that Gilgamesh? I can't tell. Is that a report for the association? You certainly are a busy man, Kotomine. He continued to fight even after receiving those wounds. All that happened was assassin hitting, hitting him once. She doesn't know that! The voice comes from behind him without revealing its source. The man on the chair, Kotomine Kirie, moves on to his next task without the slightest reaction. Oh. So this is about the usurper. 57 victims with 5 dead. Is this a lot from the supervisor's perspective, Kotomine? I don't think that's Ko I don't think that's Gilgamesh talking. I do not know who the fuck is talking. I can't say much at this moment. This is the first instance of large-scale unconsciousness, but there's no problem if it stays this way. Either association either association is aware of the necessary cleanup measures. But if it continues at this pace, huh? I do not know who is doing this, but you're being quite brazen. I'm just going to continue to assume it's Gilgamesh. Have you realized, Kotomine? If nothing is done, this town will become barren of life. Kotomine does not answer. He knows what the man wants to say. By the way, for the record, Kotomine has all the dead body, all the, uh... All the children who survived the fire from uh, ten years ago trapped down in his basement. He's been using their magic to keep them preserved as zombies so that Gilgamesh can continue to feed off them and sustain his mana. The more you know. Let's see. The strange shadow that appeared in this town... It's only sucking up life force right now, but the amount is increasing by day. The abnormality that first surfaced two days ago will exceed the regulated allowances in a few days. For the moment, it only causes dyspnea? Dys dyspnea? Uh, whatever that is. But it should soon be enough to kill even a healthy adult male in one night. But that is needless, wor that is needless worry. It should not be an amateur, so it should know its limits. Is that so? That worm user does not seem like it, but such a person will become a curse if they do if you do not take care of it quickly. It is my it is not my style to watch people die in this in people in this town die. The statement takes Kotomene by surprise. This man who does not care about anyone else is concerned for the people. Buttery tones anywhere. Alright, cool. I wasn't sure. I'm used to, like, Gilgamesh always shouting his lines. Him being very calm is not like him. Oh, yeah, there we go. I'm surprised. What is going on, Gilgamesh? It should not be surprising. I do not like it when people are killed by someone besides me. People will lose their way with boring crime and punishment. Such pain is not entertaining at all. <laughs> Wait, Assassin hurt Shiro? Why does it feel like Sakura's mana isn't being hindered? Wait, no, 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 Zoken! I see. Then you are indeed a heroic spirit. You use death to save people from the agony of life. Then your wish is death? <laughs> of course. This age is filled with meaningless, worthless people. Exterminating them will be doing them a service. Chaotic good, everyone! Chaotic good. I'm sorry, where is the good in Gilgamesh? His scorning voice is filled with absolute dominance and dignity. The priest does not stop his words as he lists work as he listens. I see. 
You can use the Holy Grail if that is what you wish. It will be yours unless someone who can defeat you appears. Huh. You do not have a wish, Kotomine. I don't have a clear wish. The only thing I have is the desire for clear pleasure. <laughs> Look, I can't even masturbate anymore. Just doesn't satisfy. I know that feel. I see, so you only have pleasure. The man starts laughing at the simple answer. It's as if he's delighted and proud of his partner. All right. I shall kill because they are disgusting, and you shall kill because it is fun. Our motives are different, but we seek the same thing from the Holy Grail. That must be why you have kept me. The priest does not answer. He merely continues his work. Huh. I do not care even if you do nothing. I shall do as I please. The man's presence disappears. The priest glances at the exit of the silent of the silent stone room. He seems insane, but he is sane at the core. It seems the mud was unable to pollute his soul. King of Heroes, Gilgamesh. The Golden Servant is the most powerful being at this point in time. The fact is accepted by tr as truth by all. Even Kotomine, the Game Master himself, does not doubt it. But, there are worthless things, but there are no meaningless things. Beware, King of Heroes. If there is something that will bring you defeat, it will be just that. His monologue does not reach anyone. Lit by the dim light, the priest resembles uh, a prophet seeing into the future. It's a brand new day, and the... How'd the rest of that song go? I don't remember. Whatever. Yeah.